What's going on, everyone? I hope you're having a great Monday. Welcome back to the work week. So today we're gonna to talk about two things I've been wanting to do to the Tundra, but I've been putting off. One I've been putting off because it's it's just plain crazy, and the other one I've been putting off because, well, to be honest, I really didn't think I wanted to do it, but after I've spoken with a few of the viewers, I definitely do. You guys are gonna think I'm a little crazy, so stay tuned. Start out with a little supercharged pull, of course. Not even 40% throttle, full throttle. Oh, goodness. All right, full throttle's a little scary there. You get up to 50 really quick. But anyway, on to the point at hand. So one of the things, well, first off, obviously I'm always thinking about things I want to do to this truck. I'm always thinking about, you know, certain modifications we could do um, to basically differentiate this truck and continue along the path with this Platinum Pro project. Well, I'll save the crazy one for last. But a lot of people have been asking me if I'm ever gonna put the sport hood, or excuse me, the um, hood scoop on this truck. And one thing you need to know, if you wanna put the hood scoop on this truck, you need to actually get the full hood. It's not just getting the hood scoop and then you put it on the truck. Apparently you need the entire hood which to me, for a non-functional hood scoop, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. So I kind of been putting that off. I don't really want it, but I gotta be honest with you, the look is growing on me quite a bit. So I'm thinking about going and checking out that RK Sport Hood. We've actually talked about it in videos in the past. Um, I will put up a picture of what I'm talking about at the end. Now what that hood is, it's a hood that offers actual um, vents, like real functional vents, and a real functional hood scoop. It's not just for design or for looks, it actually works. Um, obviously the vents are good for the supercharger because you know, you wanna cool it down as much as possible. And a functional hood scoop, a lot of the people said to me like, well, that might be a little tough with a supercharger, but I actually talked to the owner of the place and he said, absolutely not. He has a lot of people that have the supercharger with it, so it can work. Um, so that is a maybe, but the more we talk about the hood scoop, and I love the look, like I said, but the, the fact that I can have a functional hood scoop with this supercharger is not that crazy to me, simply because we have a supercharger, which is nuts. You know, there was, I never planned on having a supercharger, so why not just keep going down the crazy lane? Now that is one that I'd love to hear your opinion on, RK Sport Hood. Once again, we will put the picture up right now and then comment below and let me know what you think about that one. And number two is gonna send some people home scratching their head, but it is what it is and I wanna be real with you. So I thought about this once as a joke, but then recently I actually did a little uh, research on it and it is possible. So I'm considering, which is nuts, um, I'm considering getting the side panels on the bed that actually have the TRD Pro stamp in them. All right, you can actually buy uh, the bedside body panels that have the TRD Pro stamp. So <laughs> people are like, well, why would you do that? And a lot of people wouldn't understand. But listen, there's a lot of scientists and a lot of people in history that said, hey, I want to do this. And everyone looked at them like they were crazy. And then when they did it, guess what? We have a telephone today. You know, things like that, a great invention, whatever. I just feel like with the Platinum Pro project, the most insane cherry on top would be getting side panels that actually say TRD Pro stamped right into the bed. It is possible, like I said, price-wise, you know, rough price-wise, you're looking at about $700 per panel, so obviously two panels, and then you have to get them painted and installed. So at the end of the day, I'm thinking probably like $2,000 for those. So it's not something I'm doing tomorrow but I don't know, just lately I feel like that's a cherry on top thing and I've always felt this way about it. Um, this isn't the first time I thought about it, but two or three different viewers recently said something to me about it like, that would be a really cool way to, uh, you know, kind of finish off the project. And I was like, it's not just me, there's other people that think that's a cool idea as well. If you don't know what I mean, just check this out real quick. 
So if you don't know what I'm talking about, literally this entire panel comes off and gets replaced with the panel that is on the TRD Pro. So there will be the bed stamp right here, TRD Pro, on both sides, of course. So as you can see, yes, actually physically taking the panels off and putting new panels on. Oh, a lot of people are going to love me in the comments with that one, but it's just an idea I had. I, there's still so many things that would that would happen before that. I'm nowhere near done with this project. There's, you know, 87 different directions I could go, but that's one thing lately that's been popping in my head just for looks. Think of how cool that would be. Think of how cool that would be because this is the turn a platinum into a pro project. So anyway, I'd really love to hear what you guys think about that. And as always, if you have any other suggestions for, you know, different things you want to see on the truck, comment below. Um, you know, I have a long list of some of the things you guys have said already. And there are things that you guys have suggested in the past that I said, nope, I'll never do that. Not doing it. No way. And then I end up doing it and loving it. So I always take your suggestions. But right now, I'm really digging that hood and that idea. Um, and, yo, come on. Side panels, TRD Pro bed stamp. I'm sure that would make the TRD Pro owners kind of mad, huh? <laughs> but yeah, it's all in fun, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below of these two modifications. And once again, if you have any ideas, throw them down there as well. And we shall talk about it. It looks like tomorrow, Tuesday, I may be doing a live stream. So a lot of the live stream may be talking about some of these ideas. So I'll let you know tomorrow, um, you know, if I'm going to do a live stream or not. But anyway, for now, Twitter and Instagram, it's 100 Dude 34, 100 Dude 34 gmail.com. You guys have a great evening.